which x86 hardware are we actually going to support? It, it's, it, it's going to be one of these trade-offs in terms of, well, you know, what can we afford and what gives us the most benefit? And certainly, the, one of the directions we're heading is to, um, to, to start with running under some kind of a virtual machine monitor. There, you know, there are some business and contra contractual issues in particular with VMware, but VirtualBox is is one you know is is one of the virtual machines that we you know will be running on early on the nice thing about the 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 virtual computer architecture is that it hides a whole lot of the hardware from us okay we just you know ba basically right virtual box says okay look here's what your computer looks like and what's under virtual box is stuff that we don't see Right. That that's you know. So so all of uh, a lot of the hardware specific stuff becomes the problem for the people doing the virtual machine monitor. So that helps a lot. And then we'll you know we'll pick some particular PC hardware platforms. Um, you know, like like certain ProLiant machines, and not even all of the devices, because mostly right. It it's going to be limited by you know what can we actually test. And 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 you know and and can guarantee that it will work, and so we'll be looking at all right. Well, what are, what are the most popular configurations in the market? It's all right. It's 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 all about return on investment. I mean, there, you know, to some extent, there, you know, we we run into situations as well where there are some technical requirements. Those tend to be very obscure. And and it's very 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 much one of these devil is in the details situations. We can compare that to like you know VMS volume shadowing, where we support a rather wide variety of disks, but there you know the, um, there are some particular you know we, we we supported it on 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 a number of different SCSI disks, including third party drives and stuff, and you know. SCSI is one of these cases of we love standards, we love you know, the, you know we love all of the different versions of SCSI. You know there there's so many of them. Um, there are a lot of optional features in SCSI disk drives, and some of them are required by VMS volume shadowing. And in 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 particular, there's a capability there's this, there's a capability called write long. Where you write not just the data on a disk sector, but you 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 write the sector preamble and and the rest of it as well. You, you know what's usually the the overhead that's that's used to manage the disk. And the reason we need to be able to do that is we have situations in shadowing where we need to write a bad block. Okay, meaning. We're going to write this block out there, and from now on, until it's overwritten again, anybody who tries to read it will get an error. Okay, and that, that's a situation that can arise in a shadow set repair, where you know, we've gotten an error one time reading this block, we can't, you know, we can't recover the error from the other member of the shadow set, and so all of a sudden, right, we've lost the data. And now we want to be we want to guarantee that anybody in the future who tries to read that data will get told, sorry, we lost it. Okay, we don't you know we don't ever want to return bad data and not tell the client that it's bad. And so you know, so this and, and, and so this is a particular specialized function in the disk drive. That's needed by VMS host-based shadowing, and um, if you know if an error occurs in a shadow set where you know where a member does not have that feature, then we'll we'll throw that member out of the shadow set. So you know, so it's not it's it it doesn't work nearly as well as it does uh, when that feature is present, and so we may run into similar situations. Uh, with particular CPU models, with with some of the other PC hardware, I, you know, we don't. I don't know of any specific instances of that yet. 
So certainly, right, VMS on x86, it will be limited to start with, you know, to a relatively small set of configurations just because of what we can test. And then we'll, right, we'll, we'll, we'll expand that, we'll expand the supported hardware as the market demands.